computer program called Logger Pro which lets you plug in a motion detector to the computer and then it measures the distance away from the motion you are and it charts it on a graph and today we're doing a challenge where you tried to compare your motion to a preset line and see how close to the line you could get. The preparation for this was actually very minimal because we want them just to investigate and inquire about it without giving them a whole lot of background at the beginning and just kind of turn them loose and say, play with this and see what you can learn. And then we end up doing follow-up afterwards to talk about what they learned. We ended up figuring out how to get the right distance and like how fast you would need to walk to get to a certain place. I mean, that initial part is tough, like to get that 0.25 meters. All right, let's try one last time. Using the actual technology made it easier to understand because you could get a visual representation than just reading about it or seeing someone else doing it. Initially, distance is just sort of a word. You know what it means, but then the Logger Pro shows you that when you walk away from something, your distance is actually increasing, whereas with just the word itself, it can be fuzzy what exactly you're determining. As they're in the middle and they're watching what's happening with their graphs, they are problem solving to try to figure out exactly like, okay, what do we need to do to fix it or to make it better? Or why did this odd spike show up in my graph? What's happening to create that? And I heard a lot of discussion and dialogue among the, the team members. Well, that's what happened here. This is what happened here. So if it's constant, that means they're it's moving at a moving constant, at a constant speed. speed. And so they're learning from each other and not just from reading a textbook or from listening to a teacher. We kind of determined beforehand who was going to do what and at first we were a little awkward but once everyone kind of got into their roles they started learning how to do them and then in the final one we all kind of hit it to perfection. We were a little competitive with the group right next to us. We were both doing a team effort so when we got the right graph then we were kind of excited. And oh, oh, two, zero, two. We got it, we got it, we got it. Oh, Actually, me and my teammate began to sweat, so we had to take off our jackets. So it was a little, a little more exciting than science usually is. It was just really fun for me to see the enthusiasm and the engagement of the kids during the process. You know, they're up there cheering for each other, and when they are successful in something, it was just a lot of fun to see the kids so engaged in learning.